My name is Sarah Thurgood and I had knee surgery over the summer last year. I was on crutches for about a month and a half. And my name is Addie Smith and I tore my ACL September 10th and had surgery on the 29th of September. I had a hip to ankle straight legged brace for two weeks and then was on crutches for three and a half weeks. Hi, my name is Kendra Hassel. I tore my ACL this year and I had to be on crutches for about a month. It took me a while to get walking. I'm Annie Alder. I was on crutches for four weeks. Um, my friends were... And I think the hardest part about being on crutches like around the school is, um, first of all, stairs. Getting this is a pretty big school, so getting around is really hard. Getting from the car to the parking or from the parking lot to the school, it's kind of a long, you know, walk. Um, and your armpits hurt, you know. And I think um, I would say the hardest part about being on crutches was probably just getting around. Like it just took so much longer to do anything to get in and out of the car. It took ten minutes literally, and it was just painful to move. Um, and a half. And over the summer, no one really wanted to hang out with me due to my crutches. Um, I just got stared at all the time because of it. No one would hold the door open. Just everyone was really rude about it and disrespectful towards me. Um, my friends were really helpful with it, but people I didn't know didn't really care. So if people could just hold doors open and help carry my stuff, it would have been a lot easier. And I think one thing people can do better to help um, people on crutches is opening the door. Like having a backpack and having something in your hand and like being on crutches and trying to open the door all at one time is really difficult. And I remember the day I got off of crutches, I still wasn't very good at walking yet. I was limping and I took the elevator luckily and even the teachers and like the administrator office people still like got mad that I was using the elevator still and so I just think people could be a little bit more better on stuff like that and just being aware and helping people with crutches so yeah what could people do better people could do better is hold doors open invite people you don't always need to do something with people on crutches like it's hard enough just being on crutches walking around um, and hanging out with friends, so like invite them places, be nice, hold the door open, ask if they're okay, because mentally it's struggle, like you struggle too mentally. One thing that I would say people could do better is there's a lot of people that when you're just like walking around, they just like are like looking at you, and so like don't stare and be mean, like just smile. People on crutches are going through a really, like it's not fun, it's mentally hard, it's physically hard. And holding doors open is so big, so big. And just being loving. Look at this. <laughs> Let's do that the right way. I broke my foot. Uh, what happened? You okay? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> Aww. I just know will always be kind to people with crutches. I will always be nice to people with crutches. I, David, will always be kind to people with crutches. I, Luke, will always be kind to cripples. I, Annie, will always oh, be nice to people with crutches. Oh. I swear I will be nice to cripples. <laughs> I'll be nice to cripples. I, Cannon, will always vow to be nice to cripples. I, Ellie Johnson, <laughs> vow to be nice to people with crutches. I, Grace Osterlo, vow to always be nice to people with crutches. Yeah.